Welcome to the Sea Level Forum. Rethink HR. Did you know that if you actually spend 15 minutes of exercise every day, you can add three years to your life? Why is it we're not providing instant feedback? And on that feedback, why is it the business intelligence of the fact that this organization is not doing great? That's only information that managers have. And what are the different ideas or talent strategies that we can keep? Do we really now understand the multi-generational workforce? Shouldn't our HR solutions be mobile? For one in three people waste five hours each week on chronic, unaddressed uh, conflicts between colleagues from different generations. So if you really want to have a workplace that is a high-performance workplace, the first thing you need to do is start to think about your value proposition really seriously. Why do you want me to work for you? Why do I need to work for you? So what is it about your place that is going to fulfill my dreams? So that's, that's something that uh, we need to adopt. So working across generations, you're constantly being judged. So you really need to get into your subject, be a subject matter expert. There's no room for wishy-washy, shallow stuff and answers. You really need to be the go-to person and show your mastery. For me, I've always sat in the HR role humbly, with all humility, as a facilitator. I also walk into any training session as a facilitator of learning and then encourage you and give you insights and references on how you can go and develop and then learn. We are dealing with adults. In adults, it's about the concept and application of the concept. Partnerships are really important. It's the time to reach out within ourselves in different companies and see possible ways to partner. For us on Brighter Monday, data is really important. Um, building solutions, we totally understand recruitment doesn't end with advertising and getting the candidate. My challenge to HR people is always start to think like a marketer.